the next topic which we want to discuss is stack sets uh, there was a lot of discussion on you know something around this um, stack sets and things like that what is stack set we have been discussing uh, you know multiple times we discussed that what is the scope of of a stack or in cloud formation what is the scope and i said i explained this multiple times that it is always an account and within that account one region whenever you are executing some code right we have been doing this whenever you are executing some code you are always able to see at the top that a particular region is mentioned so whatever resources you are trying to create here whatever resources you are trying to refer all of those things belong to this particular region that part you have to be clear so for example if i want to create an ec2 instance in northern virginia and if i want to create another ec2 instance in oregon region can i go ahead and do it in one stack answer is no you need to have one stack in northern virginia region and you need to have one stack in oregon region right that's how it has been structured but think about this if the requirement is that i have to create similar type of resource in northern virginia also in oregon also right then will it really make sense that i go ahead and do it manually in every region no right would you like to go ahead and do it manually in every region probably no i'll i'll give you an example just to reset everyone please listen carefully you have been given a requirement that you need to go ahead and create one ec2 instance in five regions in your account using cloud formation right all the properties are same for those five instances in the five different regions so would you want to go ahead and manually go and execute the stack and create the stack in all the five regions probably no so that's where stack sets can help you stack sets can go ahead and help you in such scenarios where from one place you will execute it but you can execute it in parallel in multiple regions and not only this you can also take it one step ahead and go ahead and execute it in multiple accounts right so both the things if you see this diagram which i am showing here you can operate from one place suppose in your organization you have got 10 aws accounts right so what you can do from one of the accounts generally the master account or you can delegate this thing as well but generally from one of the accounts what you will do you will be able to go ahead and run your stack or basically create your stack in multiple regions and multiple accounts and you will be able to select it you will be able to choose it that in which all regions and which all accounts you want to create it you will be able to select it but the good thing is from one central place you are able to provision it later on when you want to modify also from one place you are able to update it as well and let's say when your work is done you want to delete it you can get rid of it as well from one place itself is that interesting so i will go ahead and show you a demo of this thing now so that you understand that how it works uh, i'll give you one scenario right for example uh, whenever uh, th this is the real thing like right? well, when i was implementing for one of the customers what happened they decided that they will actually make use of make use of one one saas solution one saas security solution in you know in uh, in their cloud space and for in order to implement that saas solution all they wanted was they had to create one iam role in every aws account that's it and that iam role will be assumed by that saas solution and that saas solution will be able to get the necessary information so all i had to do was i mean what they asked me to do was that go ahead and create this one iam role its definition was known go ahead and create this one iam role in all the aws accounts and how many aws accounts were there around 56 aws accounts in the organization right so 56 aws accounts were there and we had to create uh, that iam role in all the 56 AWS accounts. So we went ahead and used the stack sets and very quickly just from one place we were able to trigger and it got created. They came back after five days and said, oh, we actually missed one permission. Uh, you know what? This is the correct definition. We need to attach, uh, we need to add one to additional permissions as well. I said no problem. 
we went ahead and we executed one update and in all the 56 accounts the definition or the you know that role got updated that's the power of stack sets as designed in the picture the stack set has to be in the admin account uh, yes that's how it was earlier vamsi uh, recently they they also allowed delegation from the you know from the master account to other accounts so now it is possible to delegate to any other uh, account as well which can act as your cloud formation uh, master account sorts let me show it to you in the in the console so it will make more sense okay so now let me go ahead and show the demo one more thing which i wanted to tell you folks is that i've been i've been telling about this scope thing again and again for you to understand that currently when up let's say i'm operating in northern virginia region so all the resources which will get created will be there in this region but there's one exception to that can anybody see on this screen and tell me what is that exception very good i am role so the i am role resource this particular resource right i am role this particular resource it is not regional you know that i am role is a global resource right so what you need to understand is the way cloud formation works is that all the resources will be regional except those which are global they can be created they can be created in any region basically you can trigger it from any region they are anyway global so those resources which are of global nature which are global in nature those resources can be triggered from anywhere currently i'm operating in northern virginia let's say if i'm operating in ohio also i can go ahead and create an im role from there because it because it's a global resource okay that part you have to understand uh, other than that anything else which is regional that gets created in that in the same region where the stack is getting created okay are you able to understand this point it might be very obvious to some of you but still i wanted to call out okay so that there's no confusion on this okay all right folks so what i'll do this one i can just get rid of it let me delete this and uh, so what i'll do is now till now i was operating in one of my aws accounts now i will go and get into my master account so these are some of the accounts which are there in my organization which i maintain in this uh, now i'll go to my master account which is of course the top node in my organization so i'm getting into my master account just one sec and this is my master account good i will go to cloud formation here okay uh, and you can see in the left hand side we have got stacks which are, and we have stack sets stacks is something which is which is of course just limited to one account but now we want to see stack sets so stacks we have done enough so when i go to stack sets you can see at the top there is this thing called delegated administrator so I, that's what I was telling you earlier. Uh, the master account used to be the default administrator. Now it is possible that you can delegate any other account as well as as this administrator who can go ahead and execute stack sets. Okay. So for now, I'm just doing it from my master account. So I'll go ahead and say create stack set. Now, uh, I can because I'm operating here from the master account, I can just go with service managed permissions, which means I need not. I need not create uh, an additional role which will be used, uh, you know, uh, for creation of things. Uh, if I want to go ahead and really create it, then that option is also there. I can do that. But service managed permissions generally work better because if somebody who is some someone who is already operating from the master account has to be really high privileged already. Right. So we'll just go ahead with this, and then we'll go ahead and say select the template i'll say upload a template choose and i'm just gonna select the template here we'll say next uh we'll give it some name for our stack set i'm just gonna call it uh, set 001 uh some description okay say next this is fine just go ahead now this is the most important screen i guess 
because here you need to say that where all do you want to create it? I already showed you that I've got what like 34 accounts in my organization. So do I need to go ahead and create this in all 34 accounts? Then I'll just select this deploy to organization. If I want to limit it to certain organizational units, then I will go ahead and select this. Um, how many of you I OK, I'll not ask that way, but I hope all of you understand organizations and organizational unit. Let me show you my organization here. So. The organization which I have here. It has got a couple of organizational units and I'm going to select one of the organizational units from there. OK. All right, so. This is the organization which I have. Uh, it has got a couple of OUs like core, custom, labs, this and that. So I'll go to labs and within this I have lab prod, lab test and lab in it. So I'll pick up this lab test. It has got one, two, three, four, five, six, six accounts are there. So this should be fine. I'll just copy its OU, OU ID and I'll go ahead and specify it here. OK, the next thing is if I want, I can further filter the accounts, etc. Um, and then regions. So you can go ahead and select that in which region you want to create this resource. You can you can select multiple regions as well. I'm selecting only one region because of the fact the because the template which I'm using it is actually creating the IM role. So there's no point of selecting multiple regions. But let's say if I'm launching EC2 instance and I want that EC2 instance to be there in uh, Northern Virginia, Ohio, Oregon. So I can keep selecting multiple regions here. Not a problem. OK, then we can go ahead and say in how much parallel do I want this to run? So I'll just specify some, you know, that go ahead and execute it in parallel. Yes, it is creating IM role. I understand. So I'll say submit. Now what I'm essentially doing is sitting in the master account here. I executed one command of creation of stack set and. As part of this, what it is essentially doing is it is going ahead and figured out it figured out that how many uh, how many accounts are there under that organizational unit and it has started creating stacks in all of those six accounts you can see here the six different accounts you'll be able to see here left hand side the region is us east one and uh, of course in, in all those individual accounts one one stack is getting created and you are able to see its id here and the collection of all these stacks is one stack set which you are able to see in the master account. OK, which is this stack set. So we'll have to just give it a couple of seconds. You can see in five of them it is done. The last one is going on. Uh, so in one shot, we were able to go ahead and actually create it in multiple accounts and if you want multiple regions also. Then further, if you want, you can go ahead and update it, delete it. It's all in your hands. I'll take a pause here while this is just getting created. And I want to just ask you quickly, were you able to understand this? If you have any doubts which you want to ask, please raise hand and please ask me the doubt. Are, are, are you able to get some sense of uh, sense of this functionality that why will we really go ahead and use it or or it or you are you're not able to understand its usage? Anybody who's not able to understand the usage think always think in this way that in a big organization where really there are so many accounts, this type of functionality is required, right? Because I told you when you are creating one stack, it just runs in one region and one account. If you want to do similar type of thing in multiple accounts, then you need this type of functionality. Otherwise, you will just keep wasting a lot of time, right? So you can see this is all created. This is the template. We are basically just creating an IM role. Uh, the name of the role is VA read role. We are attaching read only access and we are giving, you know, we are trusting a particular AWS account. So that's the that's the template. The template which which I have already given you that template I'm using here. So what what essentially happened as part of this particular execution is that a role called VA read role got created in all these six AWS accounts. In all these six AWS accounts, what I can do is let me just go to Mr. Adam, who is already logged in, uh, you know, who is already logged in uh, in a different browser in the account number 115. So if I go here and I go to IM and let me just go and refresh it, you will see that a role got created here 
called VA read role. Now, just now it got created and you can see it has read only access. Right? How 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 this particular role got created as part of stack set. Right? So once our work is done, if we want, we can just go here and we can say delete stacks from stack sets. You can go ahead and again paste the OUID and select the region and then you can go ahead and get rid of things as well from here. So I want to delete in parallel. So I am saying six, so it will try to just delete it in parallel. So it will now go ahead and get rid of everything from all the different AWS accounts. And you'll be able to see that when it happens. So in the other screen, I'll just try to refresh and hopefully this role should just be gone. You can see it does not exist anymore because it is deleted. Right? If I go here, there's no VA read role anymore because all of this is now gone empty. So all done. Our stack set, basically all the stacks inside our stack set is deleted. So now that it is empty, we can even go ahead and delete our stack set. So it's done. Right? All cleaned up. Congrats on completing that tutorial. We have a lot more similar awesome tutorials on our channel which you can go through in the playlist section. Let us know what do you think about our videos in the comment section and if you like it, please do share it with your friends and hit the like button. Thank you.